Oh boy. Yeah, I've been looking at this for weeks thinking, what am I gonna do with this? Well, I can't say I can take care of all of it today, but I can certainly start. That start was some two by fours, which I then proceeded to rip into one and a half by one and a half inch boards. Now, it's very important to note that I didn't just rip them in half because doing so would not have given me the quarter inch strip left over that I'm gonna be using in the next project video. It's all about conservatism, conservatoriness. No, oh, it's all about using everything you get. Zero waste, people. Assembly of the frames is pretty straightforward. Each side of the roll around storage bin cart will get a full frame for stability. This piece will act as a ledge for the side slats that I'll attach in just a moment. Some glue and then tack in place flush with the bottom or what will otherwise be known as the inside of the frame. Those slats I mentioned earlier are just one by fours cut the length. I debated myself whether glue was really needed on the ledges for these slats. Then I envisioned myself adding accessories to the outside and decided it was probably best. Humidity levels are already pretty high here in Florida. These boards have had a few days to acclimate to my shop, so I fit these boards next to each other, but did not snug them up. Now, my measurements were for boards that were three and a half inches wide. These furring strips that I'm using are only three and three eighths, which left me with this oddball width at the end. That's an easy fix by taking that measurement and ripping on the table saw. This happens four times, each of the four side frames, but not for the front and back frames. Time to assemble. A complete list of cuts along with materials needed can be found on my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Now I'll secure the two units together. If you have an issue with commitment like I do, then some four inch casters will help ease your anxiety. One last thing to take care of. The rails for the storage bins to slide on are just one by fours that I ran through the table saw. The measurements for this cut along with all the other measurements can be had at simplyeasydiy.com. Flip the short cut on its side, then place that on top of the other cut with some glue and just make sure the screws are set slightly below the surface.
I measured down about eight inches or so based on the size of the storage bins I'll be using. The dimensions for this roll around storage cart were put together for a specific size store bought container that I already had in my shop. Then I just put together some design plans for a DIY version of storage bins. Those plans and a whole lot more can be found by checking out my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Also check me out on Facebook and Pinterest. Check the description, I'll have all the links. Until then, 